Um, before we start, a big shout out to our sponsors for today. Foco. If you don't know what Foco is, this is what Foco is. This is what Foco is. That is what Foco is behind his head as well. Click the link. Check out Foco. If you use the code CFTV15, you get a 15% discount. Some really good stuff. Lots of funky gear. Very nice. Uh, little Hawaiian shirt. Love it. Check it out. Hello, everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. I hope you're all doing very well. I am covering for Nina. She is ill. So, round the corner today is with me in the car on the way to London to watch the Inter Milan game. So, a little bit of a different type of video. Uh, I can't be sat here in a studio or anything like that, I'm afraid. Um, but I'm here, and that's the most important thing. So, um, listen, let's get straight into it. I mean, coming into this game against Inter Milan, this is our last pre season game. Our last game before we play Man City at home on the 18th um, in the Premier League. Am I feeling confident going into that game? No. Am I feeling confident going into this Inter Milan game? Not particularly. And uh, I think based on what we've seen during pre-season, most people would agree with me. But then that points the question, what are we supposed to think going into this season? And... Uh, the fact that I'm not confident, is that uh, a sign of how bad the manager is, the player is, the recruitment, or am I deluded and I just need to give uh, these people more time? And that's the question that uh, I'm trying to answer, really. So, let's break it down. We lost 2-2 in the first game against Wrexham. We played slow, sloppy football. Uh, who else did we play? We played against um, Club America. We played against Man City. We lost against Man City. We lost to uh, Celtic as well. And, um, and then we lost to Real Madrid. So, yeah, all in all, it wasn't a successful pre-season by the result standpoint. But what was a success, I think, was the idea of understanding what philosophy Enzo Maresca is going to play. And that seems fairly obvious to me now, uh, especially on the ball. On the ball, I think that what we are trying to do is something that Chelsea fans were asking for a lot last season under Maurizio Pochettino. And that is create a structure, allow these players to... Uh, play into a, a consistent system that they can actually learn and will help them improve and uh, just show a clear philosophy and I think that we can see that so in that sense I would say this is certainly a positive um, we understand what Enzo Maresca is trying to do when we have the ball now on the flip side what are we trying to do when we don't have the ball there's been a lot of complaints about our high line. Uh, our defensive structure has been poor in pre-season. I think it's been worse than it was under Pochettino. The goal we conceded against Real Madrid when uh, I think it was Vinicius just slid the ball into the net. Badia Shield didn't even dive in. I thought that was pathetic. And I said to myself, where is the hunger and the desire? Um, and, I, and I do see a lack of intensity when we look to defend. But not just that just not really understanding what we need to do, right? We look clueless uh, at the back. I think part of that is because we've lost Thiago Silva. Another part of that is because we're flicking between a back three and a back four. We've got the inverted left back and the inverted right back. So we're trying to get to grips with that. Is it gonna be Gusto inverts? Is it gonna be Cucurea throughout the season? Reese James as well, someone who, who was tried in that position. I don't think it will be Reese James. So what are we going to do there? And Enzo Maresca's absolutely... Uh, well, he hasn't taken responsibility for the high line. He said that we, we're trying to change it. So it'd be interesting against Inter if we can actually uh, implement a slightly uh, lower back line that's not as far at the pitch and then doesn't make it easy for us to... Uh, let opponents go in behind. I mean, counter-attacking a team that's got the ball is one thing, but 
sometimes it's not even a counter attack. It's just easy for these guys. They just, they cut through us and it's not even difficult. And that frustrates the hell out of me when we spent so much money on players like Fafana and all of these other defenders, Badia Shield, the Sassi. Uh, so that, that really frustrates me. What also frustrates me is the fact that Chalibur isn't in the squad and he would be such a good player in this system. He's got the pace, he's got the versatility. Why not give Chalibur a chance? But it seems like he's been banished with Romelu Lukaku to train with the under 21s. Very sad. Um, and uh, ultimately, not what you want to see as a Chelsea fan, but look, they want to make the profit, they want to make the money. From a business perspective, if you just look at numbers, it looks great, but you got to see what's happening on the pitch as well. Uh, what else? And uh, uh, What's his name? Um, Neto from, Pedro Neto from Wolves has signed his contract. He's on a six year deal. Um, I don't think we'll see any minutes from him in a Chelsea shirt against Inter, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't know if Jackson's back either. I'd love to see him get some minutes at the bridge before the Premier League starts. Cole Palmer's back in the squad as well. Perhaps he'll have uh, a chance to feature. I'd love to see Jorgensen in goal again. I don't see the point of playing Robert Sanchez now when you're not going to be playing him in the Premier League. It is time to get everyone familiar with each other, get the back line familiar with the goalkeeper. If you've got a good goalkeeper, as a defender, it makes you feel more confident. It actually makes you defend better because you know you don't need to do anything silly to cover up for the goalkeeper's mistakes. Uh, so let's get Jorgensen in goal and uh, let's get the back line familiar with each other. I don't want to see Badia Shill in this team. He's been absolutely rubbish, absolutely rubbish. But to be honest with you, I don't think the Sassi would be much better. Um, because of the lack of pace. You know, when you've got players running in behind, how is De Sassi supposed to solve these issues? It all goes back to Chalabar. So, for me, we need to sign another centre-back as well before the league starts, but that hasn't happened as of yet. Not a centre-back that I look at and think, wow, he can make the difference. And then in midfield, Romeo Lavia has been fantastic as a, as a six. I think he'll continue to be that starting player in this system. Enzo further up the pitch, although I'd like to see the two players rotating in that position. Enzo certainly deserves a chance to prove himself. And I've got Caicedo as well, who I think will be playing further up the pitch under Moresco, a bit like Kante uh, with Maurizio Sarri. Initiating the press, trying to intercept the ball further up the pitch and causing some problems with creativity. And Caicedo's got a good shot on him when he wants to have it. Uh, so maybe Caicedo can score some goals in this system and then Mudrik has been useless in pre-season but again this is your last chance make a mark prove yourself why should you start against Man City Raheem Sterling as well one of the senior players we know he's linked away with a move for uh, Juventus uh, will he get minutes I'd like to see Sterling get more minutes because actually on that left-hand side, from what we've seen, I think Sterling's been better than Mudrick, and that says a lot because I don't like Sterling at all. I think he's absolutely useless. Um, and uh, and yeah, we've got Omeridian as well who's going to come in, so I'd like to see him feature, but I think he's just come back from the Olympics, so uh, we won't be seeing him until, until the league starts. Lots of different things going on at Chelsea. We still don't really know what's going on. But that's part of pre-season, so I'm not going to get too angry about it. But, yeah, today against Inter, what I would love to see is a clean sheet. And if we can win the game goal to nil, 2 nil, something like that, that would be a fantastic result. Give us the confidence going into the season. That not only can we score goals and play good football, we can defend well and uh, we can control games as well. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree with anything that I've said? Uh, what's your score predictions going into this? And what more do Chelsea need going into the new season? All the best, and we will speak very, very soon.